I'm going to show you how to prove that you are doing a great job. This video is going to show you why the ROI formula is just too outdated. I'm also going to show you what metrics really matter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to a formula that will change your career trajectory and your brand trajectory forever. And I'm going to teach you how to take that formula, apply it to any marketing function, any marketing in your business, and take your marketing from good to great. The formula that everyone has always used for ROI is literally revenue generated minus the marketing costs divided by marketing costs. And in this, you will get an ROI, an ROI that people love, a four to one return of investment, a 10 to one return of investment. And it's important because it shows us what's working. The higher ups, the big boys, even yourself, if you're running your own brand, you want to know where your money is going and what's making a difference. So in theory, ROI is an essential part of marketing. And it makes sense that we have this formula because if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't know what's working, then how can you invest in what does work? But it's so outdated now because we cannot attach all of our marketing campaigns directly to revenue. People love ROI and marketing because it is a yardstick to measure success. It's very difficult when you work in marketing to prove what works and to prove that you're doing a good job. Cold, hard revenue is what makes boards happy, is what makes founders happy, is what makes your manager happy. But the times, they are changing. Revenue is not the only value driver in marketing. If you have watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm very big on marketing metrics and proper marketing metrics and setting clear, useful growth goals. If you haven't had a chance to watch my videos about setting goals, do go back and watch them. But revenue as a marketing metric is outdated. I'm going to show you a few of the marketing metrics that matter. So your metrics will be different for every business that you're in. But generically, what we look at are things that will grow your brand. Things like social media engagement, reach, impressions, click-through rates, brand sentiment, share of voice, conversion metrics, add to cart metrics, CSAT, customer satisfaction scores, qualified leads, MQLs, sales qualified leads, SQLs, customer retention rate, traffic sources, click-through rate, acquisition cost, view time, view numbers, combined engagements, engagement rate, open rate, the list goes on and on. The marketing metrics that matter are ones that tell you if you're changing behavior. Revenue isn't always an indicator of changed behavior. It's the end of the funnel. The marketing metrics that matter are the marketing metrics that are the behavior jumps between your customer journey. And this is where we see the difference between good and great marketing. Good marketing goes, I am going to generate X amount of revenue using these tactics and I can show that ROI from the overall cost of the campaign versus the product revenue. That's okay, but it's not interesting and it's not great marketing. And here we do great marketing. Great marketing is understanding that that journey from customer to revenue is where you need to get the growth. It's where you need to push people along. It's where you need to amplify your message and it's where you need to change user behavior. So great marketing shows ROI on all of those steps, on all of those journeys. You don't just get the input of marketing, the output of revenue. You need to know what's happening along the way and where do you need to invest. Simply investing in a campaign that drives revenue will just do a blanket investment and you're basically throwing money at the wall and seeing what hits because knowing your product revenue ROI from a campaign doesn't tell you anything. Knowing your ROI on each step of that journey to push people down the funnel tells you where people are getting stuck, tells you where people are really working, tells you where to invest in that user journey to generate mass revenue, not just revenue. So the marketing metrics that matter are the marketing metrics that move your customer through that funnel. It's going to be individual to you, but the metrics that matter are the movement metrics. And if you don't know how to plot out your customer journey, or if you haven't done your customer journey mapping, please do go watch a video. I have a completely free Notion template that will build this out for you, but it is so important to know where your audience are and how they're getting to you. So you can start showing that ROI, that proper ROI. Now that we know that the metrics that matter are how you move people through your funnel, I'm going to show you the formula. Revenue out, new formula in. And this is guaranteed to change your marketing life. Your new ROI formula, pause this video, write it down, use this at your next meeting to show how amazing you are. ROI is your lead metric minus your marketing costs divided by your marketing costs. So this lead metric can be changed every time. Now this is powerful and this is powerful because you can have multiple lead metrics. Your lead metric is the thing that you're most interested in measuring at that point. You might go through your user journey and have five lead 
metrics. The more in depth you get with measuring what you're doing, the better you are going to be at marketing. So let's have a look at a quick example. In this formula of lead metric minus marketing cost divided by marketing costs, you put in your metric. I would like to prove the value of growing my social new followers. What I do is I go ROI equals new followers minus marketing costs divided by marketing costs. So when I look at my campaign that I'm building out on social, I will go how many followers this campaign, so from T's to end, did I generate? Put that number in. Then I minus the marketing costs. And here is where you have to tot up all your marketing costs properly. ROI isn't just cash out of the business, cash out of your account. ROI is investment. I'll do another breakdown of internal and external attribution, but ROI means investment. It's not just cash. So when I'm totting up my marketing costs, I'm looking at anything that I paid for externally, anything like using tools, anything using subscriptions, but also internal time. So internal staff costs. Make sure you're differentiating between the full campaign and the bit that you're trying to measure. There's a few places where people fall down. One of them is not having your internal attribution. The other one is just having a campaign budget and thinking that's your marketing costs. That's not your marketing costs. You have to be very specific with what each tactic costs. So make sure your marketing costs are distinct to the campaign and to the marketing metric you're measuring. I take my number of new followers, I minus the marketing cost, internal and external, and then I take that whole thing and I divide it by the marketing costs, and there I have my ROI. This is how you show your bang for your buck. This is how you show what your marketing is doing and how much it's costing. This is how you show what your investment and return is for every step of your campaign. So this formula needs to be applied across every marketing metric that you are measuring and do it properly. Don't put the blanket budget across everything. Make sure that each thing you're showing the return on investment is the investment for that thing. It may seem like a lot of work, but trust me, it pays off in dividends when you actually start measuring your ROI properly and you don't just use a lazy formula to show a board to show your manager. Now that you've got that formula, it's not just about the end of a campaign looking at what worked and going, didn't we do a great job? I'm about to change your life and change the way you do marketing. So this video is all about how you prove your value. And it's difficult sometimes in marketing. It's easy in sales. How good are you? Let's measure it. But how do you actually prove your value? Well, I've shown you how to prove your value in terms of ROI and return on investment. But this is how you prove your value as a marketer. Do you want to be the kind of marketer that goes, oh yeah, we're reaching our goals. Yeah, our conversion is up. Yeah, our follow count is up. Or... Do you want to be better than everybody else? Here is how you use this new formula plus my free template every day to be the best marketer in your company, in your team, in the entire world. Now, the way to become the best marketer in the entire world is to really know your data and know your metrics. We've spoken about the customer journey. So first thing, get that done. Go back, watch the video, get the free template. Then we have to get our success metrics. So look at your customer journey, get your success metrics. Again, go back, watch the video on goals. You've got your journey, you've got your success metrics. So now you start measuring your ROI. You've done that through this video. Great, fantastic. We have ROI for certain parts of the funnel. But how do you take it to the next level? You set yourself a bi-weekly, a weekly metrics meeting. And in that metrics meeting, what you're going to do is you're going to keep track of your ROIs. Everyone in your team, if you're a solo marketer, if you're a big team, everybody uses the same Notion template and checks in at the end of every campaign, at the end of every sprint, the end of every post, what the ROI is. In this template, your good ROIs will show up as green. Fantastic. Your bad ROIs will show up as red. Not so fantastic. But you take things from good to great by using this information weekly. You want to bring your team together to talk about it to look at what is working, to then ideate, brainstorm how you take what is working and replicate it in other campaigns. You want to take your group and look at what is not working and you want to measure that against what is working, ideate, come up with ways to make it better. You want to A-B test. I've got a growth experimentation template for you for free as well, so grab that. But you want to A-B test what's going to drive that ROI up. You want to set these meetings so that every month you know what every dollar is driving. You know what is working you know what is not, and you focus on what is not. If it's working, if your ROI is four extra investment, if your ROI is even more than two extra investment, you don't need to think about it. You just keep doing that. Where you want to focus your time is when you're losing money or when you're not getting at least double back. Anything that's showing in red, you want to put in time to experiment, A-B test, move that needle. Your goal as a marketer is to have a green dashboard. 
And once you've done two or three campaigns and you've filled out this dashboard, you are then going to be the best marketer in the world because you will be able to take a budget and know dollar for dollar, pound for pound, where to invest that money and what to do to generate the return on investment. If you take my course, watch my videos, get my free templates, you will get to the point where you have your entire customer journey laid out, your marketing metrics very, very clear, and your results, your ROI fully tracked. Now, anytime anyone comes to do a campaign, you will look at your revenue or your budget to do that. You will look at your objectives and you will know exactly where to invest to drive growth. You will be measuring your success so closely, you will prove to anyone how amazing you are. I hope that's changed your life. ROI changed my life. Reframing how we look at return on investment and also really, really tracking what we're doing and what that's doing for our business has taken me from being a great marketer to an incredible marketer that is desperate to share all her tips and tricks with you. I've built this template out for free. It is so easy to use. Head to my Gumroad, head to my website, grab yourself a free template, start building out this calculation and showing how great you are. Please do subscribe, come back next week. Looking forward to it.